welcome to the second vlogmas on my channel if you are new here hello my name is Kim I'm a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan and I am still in my house as you can tell and right now it is 7:38. usually I get to school by like 7 maybe 7 30 at latest but today I was just so comfy cozy in my house and I was working on stuff for school but like in my jammies and having so much fun and so anyways I am just about to go into school quite a bit later than normal but my school doesn't even start until um, I think our first bell rings at like 8:50, and so I have plenty of time to get where I need to be teachers don't have to report until like 8 45 and so I like being super early but I don't have to be super early if that makes sense so I'm gonna get my stuff together and quickly head out and then I will see you guys a little bit later today maybe at school maybe not who really knows <laughs> look who's here Mom, she is cutting all the math words. I accidentally printed some of them on paper, or just like, well, yeah, paper, but like regular paper, and then only some of them are on nice cardstock, but oh well, that's fine. Um, but yeah, she's just cutting those. We're going to laminate them at another time, and we have all this going on, so quite the project. She's been here for a couple hours, and we are about to head out, and we are going to go out to dinner. We're going to go to Russ's, which I think is like mostly local i think they're only in michigan but it's like dutch food but not just dutch food they also have like other food you know american, american food you know other stuff <laughs> but anyways um survived the whole day so that's exciting and now we're off to celebrate surviving the whole day by eating some food getting some yeah. dinner woot woot oh yeah Good morning, it is now Friday, December 6th. It's actually my brother's birthday, so happy birthday, brother, if you're watching this. He's probably not, um, but I just got to my classroom. It's actually like 8 a.m. I have been coming in a lot later recently. Um, not usually quite this late, but usually like between like 7.30 to 7.45ish, sometimes eight o'clock, I guess. It just depends on the day because um, I've just really been enjoying my time at home in the mornings and been trying to get some stuff done there. And it's just been nice to uh, honestly just wait longer to get dressed in the morning like that's really what it is like I get completely ready to go I'm like completely good and ready and by like probably like 6 30 and then I just kind of sit around at home for like an hour <laughs> or less you know maybe a half hour and uh, you know do some stuff on my computer and uh, I don't know prep for the next week and whatever it is that I need to do and I have like a laminator and like printer and everything at home so it's just stuff like that I don't really need to be coming into school for anyways that I'd rather just be like warm and cozy in my house versus like freezing cold at school and have to like get dressed in real clothes you know so anyways that is why I've been coming in later and it's honestly been really really nice um part of me really likes coming to school early in the morning as well but I don't know it just depends on the day so anyways I wanted to show you guys I <laughs> need to get them out of my backpack because I just realized they're still in here but I have a bunch of books that have been sent to me recently that I wanted to do a little book haul on so actually let me grab them all out a second and then I will show you guys what I got okay so Mallory sent over a bunch of winter holiday themed books which is awesome so I will definitely be adding these to my picture bookshelves this morning the first one is called together for Kwanzaa and it looks like this then the story of Hanukkah, the first Thanksgiving, the magic of friendship snow. This is one I've been wanting to read for a while and I haven't read yet, so I'm excited to read that. The gift of Ramadan, Snowman Paul and the Winter Olympics, and Zeta the Poinsettia, which looks super cute as well. It doesn't want to focus here. There it is. So, Mallory, thank you so much for sending all of those over. I'm so excited to add those to my picture bookshelves this morning. And then also, I had a sweet viewer send over a couple of books, and the note says, I'm an aspiring elementary teacher, currently a senior in high school, and I've been watching your YouTube channel and support everything you do. Hope these gifts help your classroom. From Morgan Brown. So she sent over one of the Who Was books, which my kids really like this series. This is a nice, like, nonfiction uh, biography type series for the kids and so I love that it has like some illustrations in there as well because that helps some kids get some extra support for sure. 
and then also this one which i haven't read before but i've seen on instagram uh this is called sewing the rainbow so i'm excited to read that one as well so morgan thank you so so much and then i picked up a book recently that just came in the mail from thrift books i like to order from thrift books fairly often um they just have like discounted used books and <clears throat> excuse me and it's nice because you can look up by like specific title and if they don't currently have it then you can add it to your wish list and they'll email you when it comes in stock so i ordered this visual arabic to english uh bilingual dictionary and i have a few of these in different languages but i have a student this year whose home language is arabic and so i wanted to get this he doesn't read in arabic but he does speak arabic and so i thought this would still be a nice thing to see because he knows like some of the arabic characters just not all of them um so anyways just a cool little picture dictionary that I thought he might enjoy using and just like a cool thing to have on hand as well you do have to be a little bit careful with these visual dictionaries because I found that some of them I mean they all are geared more towards adults than children and so some of them will have like in the health section some pictures that the kids think are rather funny so just something to watch out for <laughs> that I've noticed uh, because I have quite a few books from this like publisher or series or whatever you would call it like just a bunch of these type of visual dictionary so anyways excited to add that to my collection as well and yesterday I had a couple of my students reorganize my library uh, just specific sections sections of it and so I'm feeling less overwhelmed with my classroom library than I kind of was because um, my kids this year have really been struggling with like getting things put away in the proper spot so I have some librarians who are helping kind of take hold of that and making sure that the books aren't getting damaged because they're putting in putting them in incorrectly and stuff like that and I think part Part of it is just I have so many books and the kids like <clears throat> don't exactly like know where they go and so anyways I had a couple girls kind of make it uh, more clear like where the books are going and like add in some extra bins and stuff so there wasn't like big bins there's like smaller bins and just more of them if that makes sense and so anyways I did that yesterday so hopefully that should help a little bit but my kids this year are really enjoying reading they love having so much choice to choose all the you know series that they're interested in or the topics they're interested in and having a uh, pretty large selection i would say of which books they want to read and they're really cute too because they'll tell me like what's uh, a book that they want to read that we don't have already so i can add that to like the classroom wish list on our scholastic book club uh website or whatever but then also usually i just end up ordering them off like amazon or something Thing eventually as well so anyways I do need to uh, kind of get myself situated for the day today uh, really I don't have too much to do but need to pull up my PowerPoint if nothing else and so I am going to go ahead and do that and I will see you guys probably after school today maybe maybe during school but probably after school so see you then hello friends it's clearly after school now and I'm with mom <gasps> and we're at Target <laughs> here we are in Target and I've decided that I'm doing like a very mini minimal decorating in my classroom I wasn't going to but I found some stuff ignore that that's to go with a gift um, but I found this in the dollar spot it's three dollars but I thought that would be so cute for like a winter wonderland theme so it's not really decorating for Christmas I guess it's more of like winter so it's more inclusive of all my kids because not all of them celebrate Christmas and look at this super cute tree um ignore the like very strange background maybe we put it over here but yeah this tree is only eight dollars and um i want to make it into like a book tree so i'm gonna put little like book covers oh, as like little ornaments on it and i think it's gonna be so cute i'm really excited so woo now we're looking for some more stuff and then like how cute are these socks okay i'll just show you they're to go with a gift that i got I'm somebody who does not watch my videos so i can show you so cute. We're now at Home Goods and check out all of these clearance swell water bottles. Like there's so many of them. Look at all those. They're all on clearance for $18. And then there's little bibbo ones too. And then look at those big guys. Those are not swell water bottles, but Mama's really feeling the music in her soul over there. You were too. Yeah, it was too a second ago. Mm -hmm. Look at all the fun things. I am kind of shopping for one Christmas gift still. I know I said that I was pretty much done in my Black Friday vlog, but I realize I still do have one person to shop for. So, trying to finish up that one person today, but don't really know what to get her, so 
kind of struggling but I mean I have a couple things but now I need something like bigger to go with it so we'll see hey guys so I just got back to my house I'm hanging out in the cat room with Jack a minute um, but I had a super fun time hanging out with my mom and just kind of doing uh, some window shopping we didn't really get a whole lot but we just did a little window shopping and we went to Culver's for dinner so that was fun I wanted to show you guys I just recently finished a book this week that I really really enjoyed this is called the bridge home and I hadn't heard anything about it before but I just saw it at the public library and thought it sounded good and it was very very sad but really really good so I'm somebody who's kind of a sucker for sad books and movies and stuff and this was one I really enjoyed so I'd highly recommend that and right now I am listening to not right the second obviously but right now like the past couple weeks or whatever I've been listening to a uh, audiobook, which I just rent them through my library. I don't actually have like Audible or anything like that. I don't pay for them. I just am able to check them out through my library. So you should definitely see if your public library offers a similar feature because it's free and I personally love audiobooks. I listen to them every time I'm in the car and I just really, really enjoy them. I like podcasts as well, but I prefer audiobooks. And the series I've been really into is called Crossed. Um, well, the series, actually the first book is Matched. Right now I'm reading Crossed, which is the second in the series and it's really good. Um, I'm not quite sure when it came out, but it's more of like a probably like, like middle not middle grade I would say it's more like young adult middle grade to young adult I don't know there's nothing like inappropriate in it but it's just there are some like relationships and stuff like that so it probably would be better for like young adult but really good dystopian society type book so if you like books like that then you definitely would like that one so just finished up matched a couple days ago and then I've been listening to crossed for the past couple days so I'm not sure how many books are in the series but I'm really really enjoying that as well so I think what I'm gonna do right now is put on a movie in the other room and hang out with Jack and then also edit this vlog. I'm not quite sure how long this is going to be, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right here because I feel like it's probably long enough to like make do. I always try to make my vlogs like at least 10 minutes or more because I know I like watching long vlogs and so um, I'm pretty sure like I know most of you do as well because that's what you guys have told me in the past. So anyways, thank you guys so so much for watching. Remember that you are incredibly beautiful and loved. Leave me a comment below and let me know if there's any specific things you'd like to see this month in Vlogmas and I will plan on seeing you guys in the next few days or so. So thanks so much for watching. Bye!